I know you're probably telling yourself, John just got new wheels. He got new wheels again? Well, looks like I did. And I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let me know what you think. What's going on bikers? Welcome back. So today we're talking wheels. Now, I just got a new wheel set on my bike and they are the Aeolus Pro 51 carbon wheels. And I know you're thinking, hold on, I just bought some wheels and I'm upgrading already. So yes, and I'm gonna get into that and get into the upgrade and how I was able to do that along with this Aeolus, uh, Pro and Aeolus RSL lineup that Trek just released um, about a month ago now and talk about some of the aspects of these new wheels. Now don't get me wrong, these wheels do cost a pretty penny, especially the RSL lineup. So I'm pretty much getting you ready for when you win the lotto, you can have your purchase list ready to go. So. Um, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the wheels and we're gonna start off with why I upgraded. Now here are the wheels that I used to have and these are the Aeolus Pro 5 wheels. And they were a great set of wheels, I enjoyed them a lot. So saying that, you might be asking yourself, if I enjoyed them, why did I change? Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. So funny story, I bought these wheels on a Monday and that Thursday, uh, Bontrager had announced the new wheel lineup. So that's one of the great things about Bontrager is a 30 day return policy where you can return any item within 30 days. And that's what I was able to do to get the new wheels and, and not cost me any extra money. So in regards to the new wheel lineup that Bontrager just released, we have here the, starting on the left hand side, the RSL 37s, which were actually released last year but they were the only models on the um, RSL lineup. And then they released um, this past month or last month, the RSL 51s, 62s, and 75s. I went ahead and posted the conversion rates to pounds for the people who uh, understand that easier than grams for each of the wheel sets. Now, I personally did not go for the RSL models um that's a little bit outside my budget and the way my bank account is set up I, I wasn't having it now but anyways i just wanted to go over what uh bond trigger had released and so here's the lineup of the rsl models but like i said the 37 model uh was already out um along with the 37 pro which is uh the lower tier model of these uh wheel lineups and the 37 Pro has a combined weight of 3.3 pounds compared to the 2.92 pounds that the RSL model has. So here we have the wheels that I have, which are the Pro 51s. Now again, these are um, uh, lower tier than the RSL models, um, but these are 51 millimeter deep wheels and pretty much um, Trek advertises them as the best all around wheel set. And compared to the more expensive RSL models, the Pro 51s have a combined weight of 3.79 pounds, where the RSL model had a combined weight of 3.10 pounds. So I decided to save about $1,200 at the cost of 0.7 pounds now we're going to go ahead and get into the rsl models i mean we need that shopping list ready for when we hit the lotto and these are the rsl 37s now they have the shortest depth in 37 millimeters and the shortest um rim with 21 millimeters now these things allowed it to save some weight and these are the lightest tires and of course uh geared towards climbing now we're going to talk about the RSL 51s, which is the RSL version of the model I ended up choosing. Now, as the name states, it has a 51 millimeter deep wheel with a 23 millimeter inner rim. And these are touted by Trek as the best all around 
will and the best balance between speed and weight now the next one is the aeolus rsl 62 now this is the first wheel that does not have a pro version or a cheaper version of it and these wheels again as the name suggests has a 62 millimeter deep wheel um, along with a 23 millimeter um, rim and these are nothing but speed and finally for the time trial riders we have the aeolus rsl 75 with also a 75 millimeter deep wheel and a 23 millimeter inner rim and um, as it suggests is for those time trials nothing but speed again um, they're the heaviest of the bunch as well now for those of us that go off-road who have $2,400 and don't want to be left out you have the 37 V's now the 37 V's have the same 37 millimeter depth wheel as the 37's however they have the largest inner width of 25 millimeters to accommodate those larger gravel tires and these come in at the second lightest at 2.98 pounds so there you have it that's the new lineup of Von Traeger wheels just released in 2021 and I must admit they are some nice wheels especially the RSL models but that price I mean how much do you think I can get for a kidney I don't really need both of them do I uh, but one of the most serious note a couple of notes here before we wrap this up these wheels do come with carbon care which is a two-year warranty if anything happens to the wheel you crash you get mad because you lost in the race and snap them in half they will replace them for two years and they also come with a lifetime manufacturer warranty meaning if there's some sort of defect in the way the product was made it does have a lifetime warranty on the product which is a um, good peace of mind considering the price along with that they do sell these wheels separate so you can mix and match if you choose to and if you're wondering trek does recommend 25 millimeter tires for optimal performance however of course you're sacrificing some comfort with 25 millimeter but if you just focus on speed and performance then that's what you're going to look for if you want to maximize the potential of these wheels so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video i hope you all enjoyed um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and comment below I'd love to hear your thoughts on these new wheels and which one you would go for um, if you hit the lotto all right i'm gonna talk to y'all on the next one y'all be safe and keep on riding